Anthony Schaffer born 1962, is a retired U.S. Army Reserve Lieutenant Colonel who gained fame for his claims about mishandled intelligence before the September 11 attacks and for the censoring of his book, Operation Dark Heart. He is currently Senior Fellow for the London Centre for Policy Research. Schaffer enlisted in the Ohio Army National Guard in 1980 and graduated from Officer Candidate School in 1982. He received his B.A. in Political Science and Environmental Studies from Wright State University in 1986. 9-11 hijacker claims After coming under investigation over an alleged pattern of misconduct while deployed as a staff officer in Afghanistan long-distance phone charges he incurred for personal calls, Schaffer responded by alleging that the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency failed to properly pass on intelligence on 9-11 hijacker Mohammed Atta. Schaffer's allegations subsequently became known as the Able Danger. In October 2003, according to his later statement to Congress, Schaffer told the 9-11 Commission Staff Director, Dr. Philip D. Zelikov, that in 2000, a DIA data mining program known as Able Danger had uncovered two of the three terrorist cells which after 9-11 the FBI determined committed 9-11. Schaffer reportedly told Zelikov that DIA leadership declined to share this information with the FBI because military lawyers expressed concerns about the legality of doing so. Schaffer also asserted that he briefed Director of Central Intelligence George Tenet on three separate occasions regarding his unit's activities. The 9-11 Commission report did not mention Schaffer's allegations, but in 2005 and 2006, the chairman of the House Select Intelligence Committee, Rep. Kurt Weldon, publicized Schaffer's allegations in public statements and hearings, Schaffer alleges, and his able danger intelligence colleagues confirm, that the Pentagon repeatedly prevented able danger from telling the FBI that they had identified and located Atta, the 9-11 hijacking's leader, residing with three other 9-11 hijackers a year before 9-11 in Brooklyn, NYC, and that George Tenet, the FBI director Director on 9-11 says that if the FBI had been given that information they could have prevented 9-11. Schaffer says, and his able danger colleagues confirm, that the Pentagon forbade them on several occasions from communicating the able danger investigation results to the FBI, and that as a result nothing was done regarding the ATA cell. According to U.S. Congressman Weldon, in a speech delivered to Congress, the Pentagon took the following actions against Lt. Cole. Schaffer as punishment for his repeatedly bringing forward of the above able danger facts, stripped him of his security clearance, put him on indefinite suspension without pay, took away his pension and medical coverage, and had a judge sign a gag order preventing him from telling the press, Congress, etc. about able danger's discovery of terrorist Mohammed Atta and his cell in NYC. This communication would have, according the CIA Director Tenet, prevented 9-11 hijackings from Boston's Logan International Airport and attacks on the World Trade Center in NYC, the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and other planned targets in the USA on September 11, 2001. Censored memoirs Schaffer published fictionalized memoirs of his time as a reports officer in Afghanistan in book titled Operation Dark Heart. 
The Defense Department attempted to preserve secrecy of revelations made by the book, by buying up and destroying all 10,000 copies of the book's first, uncensored run, before allowing for the release of a second, censored printing. However, several uncensored pre-release copies were distributed, allowing a person in possession of an earlier copy to compare it to the redacted version to glean what the government considers unfit for public consumption. <laughs> Current work Schaffer is a frequent guest in the media. He retired from the U.S. Army Reserve. He serves as member of the U.S. Nuclear Strategy Forum. Schaffer was appointed in the summer of 2013 as a senior fellow to the London Centre for Policy Research. With William H. Keith, he has written a novel, The Last Line, that was released in hardback in June 2013, and is due out as a paperback in October 2014. Topic. Theories In 2012, Schaffer claimed President Obama was in the White House Situation Room in real time watching the attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya, a claim that has been denied by the Obama administration. He further implied the White House was conspiring to prevent charges against released American POW Bo Bergdahl. <laughs> 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 